Jasmine. You are just so beautiful. I swear, this is one of the most well-designed and gorgeous dragons we have in our entire park. Oh, you guys, this spirit dragon event has not disappointed. And if Jasmine looks so amazing, I am really, really curious to see what the other spirit dragons are going to look like when we get them up to their adult stages too. And thankfully, my wonderful dragon keeping friends, we do happen to have a new spirit dragon egg to hatch today. <laughs> I am still so tickled that we got lucky enough to be able to snag the Alahibra dragon, which we can actually see in its adult form right here, and it's amazing. It kind of has that pinata look to it, but a little bit of a bearded dragon mixed with a unicorn, and I like it. The eyes definitely give me pause. They sort of remind me of whale eyes, actually. But I'm quite excited to be able to hatch that dragon up today because the closer we come to unlocking all of the currently available special spirit dragons, the closer we come to being able to start using our gemstones and potions to try to get ourselves a special enchanted variant of all of them. And now that I know how the enchanted or like the normal Calivera dragon looks. I really want to get her enchanted variant and even a few more of her sisters, just the normal Calivera dragons because they're just so gorgeous. And I really, really, really want to be able to get my hands on the enchanted Zankos dragon before he disappears too. So we need to get hatching. We definitely need to start collecting up more of the eggs and hatching them, especially because we have so many that we actually need to work with. Really quickly, let's go ahead and gather up the Zazberries for today. I hope all of you have been helping Marigold out in the fields by leaving those likes, by the way. She and her team of wonderful bitter and grain dragons work so hard to provide for this wonderful Dragonvale world. Uh, let's gather up whatever money my other dragons have. I was just in here recently, so we still have quite a bit of cash. And that reminds me, I hope that you brought your dragon hide gloves. As terrifying as it sounds, don't worry, I'm sure they're, they're not actually made out of dragon. But I hope you brought your dragon hide gloves to help me clear out that huge area that we have over next to our volcanoes. Uh, I do think it's a good idea to start setting those things to be cleared and then we'll whip up an experience potion once all of them are ready. All right, come here. Hello, everybody. I still need to raise so many of you guys to adulthood. I just do not have enough food to go around. Maybe I should try to like make a few more of our uh, treat dragons. Because, well, I don't think I have any more room for treat dragons, to be completely honest. We really have to get that experience so that we can go up some levels. Yay! One of my wonderful Zodia dragons actually had a mushroom for me. But I do think I actually need to work on getting experience instead of, uh, like, anything else pretty soon. Because the more experience I get, hopefully the closer I can go to opening up another new area. And I definitely need more room for all these dragons. All right, and let's go ahead and spend quite a bit of money actually setting a whole bunch of these for being cleared out, including the huge- Whoa, that's a ton of money! I just dropped seven million dollars without looking. Seven million dragon cash. Ten million? Ten million dragon cash you want from me to clear out that large forest mound. Oh my gosh. That's enough to give anybody a little bit of a pause. Let's go ahead and clear these two spots out instead. I can get a little bit further. There we go. And we want to be very careful not to like actually collect from anything that we've already started clearing out. But if we go ahead and move along here and set these to be cleared out with a little bit of the money we have left, then we can come back with an experience booster potion. And this will be the last one for now. We can come back with an experience booster potion and get a ton of experience from clearing all of this out. Uh, I don't know, maybe I'll put down another void habitat. I could probably use another one of those anyway. So I'm gonna go ahead and put down another void habitat so that we can open up a void habitat at the same time and get a ton of experience of all kinds. Uh, I don't think I need any other habitats right now. So let's put down a void habitat and hopefully it'll be done. Yeah, one day it'll be done by the time all this is done. And then tomorrow we can come in and use our experience potion and get a ton of experience getting all of that 
7 million coins they want for this. Oh my gosh, that's gonna cost me so much money. But that's why we have our healthy, happy dragons bringing in the dragon cash and paying for all of your tuitions, by the way. Also, let's pop over. I haven't checked on the airship for a little while because I have been so sick. Uh, do I have? I do not have what the airship needs. Bowie, I need spice flowers and I need stone spirals. And I don't think our frigid dragon is actually level 19. I think it's still a baby. It is still a baby. So we're not going to be able to send this off. So I might hold off on doing anything there for now. But all right, so that takes care of a whole bunch of the tasks around our wonderful dragon veil world. Let's go ahead and hatch the egg. I know we're not going to keep first. That would be this lovely, adorable tropical dragon named Yam. What a cute name for a little tropical dragon. I think we have a few dragons named Yam in our treat dragon field too. Not the mantis dragon's day, unfortunately. And even though we're hatching the egg, it is not the day of what I am pretty sure is the spirit dragon. The spirit thermal dragon, I mean. Yeah, look at that, look at you. Rita, what a cool name and what a cool design. We have attracted another spirit dragon to come and join us. It will be a companion to Jasmine for now. So we're going to add in the spirit thermal dragon, slowly but surely filling out the mini, mini slots that we have for our spirit dragons. There you go, little guy. Let's get you up to at least level four. There we are. <laughs> oh, so cute. Oh my gosh. I love that little pose too. All right. So that takes care of them. Oh, so many dragons to go through. And let's collect up the eggs really quickly. Okay. That's going to be a cinder dragon. And this is going to be not a frigid dragon, maybe a frigid dragon. Uh, so I know what those are going to be. Whoops, and it's already time to gather up the dragon root. I swear that stuff is ready so fast. And we'll toss down another line of it really quickly. Oh, such a mess. But all right, so let's do this. Let's hatch this Alahiri egg. I cannot pronounce that correctly to save my life, but I wanna see what this guy looks like. And look at you. Wow. Wow, it really does remind me kind of like a whale. The way the eyes are set to the side of the head and just the, the sort of pupils that they have really make me think more of a whale than anything else. So let's put you down. And you know what? I haven't been reading the stories for any of these dragons. What have I been doing? Their stories tell us so much about them. That's like we aren't reading important books about about animals that we take care of. That just, that's that can't be done. All right, let's go ahead and feed this little one. There you go, my friend, up to level four to start with. Wow. It really uses that horn too. I thought the horn would just be for decoration, but you could see the diving pattern that it does. Actually, at, oh, it does a little bit of a dig. Oh my gosh, you're so cute. But watch as it dives, it does use that horn in a little spin. So what can we learn about you, my friend? The artist, Pedro, is known miles around for his fantastical Alihiri sculptures, using a complex mixture of magic and art techniques that he calls mumbo mache. Uh, oh my gosh. Pedro creates massive, colorful works of art that look like they are ready to leap to life. You can imagine Pedro's surprise when he went to his workshop one morning, only to have one of his creations blink back at him. Or so he thought. A dragon with the same form and coloring of the Alhiri uh, sculptures had snuck into the workshop the previous night, perhaps thinking the artwork was other dragons. The Alhiri dragon has stayed by Pedro's side ever since, providing both friendship and inspiration to the notable artist. That is so cool! So he's an art-loving dragon! How amazing is that, you guys? I love that! And let's find out what Jasmine's story is, because I haven't learned her story yet as the Calavera dragon either. So venom and cinder mixed together. The allure of the Calavera dragon is the stuff of legends. Literally, there are dozens of ancient scrolls describing a dragon so elegant and dapper, many magic folk confuse it with a well-to-do witch in her finest evening gown. An understandable mix-up, that scale work, those flames, and what wings! Previously presumed lost in the, to the cataclysm, the Calavera dragon's return is an occasion worth celebrating, don't you think? Here's to the Day of Dragons Festival. I agree. 
agree. I could totally see how people could mix her up with being one of the uh, like dapper witches just all dressed up. And I totally forgot to read, pretty sure, what Kuzo's story is for the Zonkos dragon. Underbrush and Cinder mixed together create the Zonkos dragon. The Zonkos dragon makes exceptional use of its exceedingly long limbs when traveling the miles of the surface. The wizard Ambor Pasado, uh, Pasado witnessed a Zonkos dragon stride along the Zephyr lens at a speeds rivaling even its winged brethren. They say ancient surface folk once allied with these dragons, offering pumpermelons in exchange for passage across the desert. Quite the leg up on traditional travel, eh? Oh, that's so cool! So maybe he doesn't fly at all, but he uses those long legs to do big strides over the desert. <gasps> How amazing is that? I love him! Oh my gosh! Alright, these spirit dragons have really cool stories, and they add a lot to the lore of the world, which is exactly what we are here to study, my fellow dragon keepers. That is why we have our Dragonarium University. All right, so let's go ahead and feed up our wonderful dragon. I don't know if we have enough food, even as hard as Marigold has been working, to provide uh, enough food to get him all the way up to level 15. Oh, look at you. Now you've got something of like a frog. We've got like a mix between a frog and a whale going on here. I'm quite intrigued. This is definitely a very fantastic creation. Just look at that head too. Very beautiful. Can we get you up to level 15? Oh. Ah! It's worth two gems. <laughs> it is worth two gems. There we go! All right, another spirit dragon down. They are definitely much harder to breed than I was anticipating, but many of the really, really cool dragons are, so that makes sense. All right, so that takes out three of our mysterious spirit dragons and leaves us with two that we are still chasing our tails trying to snag. We have the Kalka dragon, and we've also got the Marigold dragon. So this time around let's try you can only try one or the other i'm gonna try the calca dragon again with lily our enchanted magma dragon and sizzles i need to rename this little one our venom dragon and we're gonna go ahead and rush a few eggs so yeah i already know what you're gonna be Ugh, it's gonna be quite a while. We'll rush eggs until we can get a crystal. Don't do what I do with my gemstones, by the way, guys. That's not how you're supposed to spend your gemstones, trust me. I just do it to kind of share, like, what can be done with you guys. And it's thanks to everybody who gives me such kind gemstones and leaves likes in our videos, we can even have so many gemstones to work with. And yes, I'm saving them for something special for our 100th episode of Dragon Bale, which is coming up. But let's keep going until we either have the dragon we're going for, Wait a second. Okay! <laughs> we have the dragon we were going for! Let's keep going until we have either the Marigold dragon, which is going to be the last of the spirit dragons that we need before we start working on trying to get enchanted ones. Uh, wow. There we go. Or we have enough to try for a enchanted spirit Rami dragon, which is one that I really, really, really want to try to get. All right, that's not the one we're looking for. So we need, we're either going for enough crystal pieces to make a new crystal, or we're going for the final of, that's another spirit dragon right there, but not one of the ones that we need. All right, so about halfway there on our crystal pieces. We may not even make it because this would be a lot of crystal pieces. And this is another underbrush spirit dragon. I'm very tickled to know that the underbrush spirits feel that they are safe enough with me that they can come and be part of our world. And wow, I can't believe that we're down to just the last mar like the last of the dragons, which would be a marigold dragon. That's another spirit underbrush dragon. Maybe I should be trying to get the enchanted spirit underbrush dragon from these two, because what? <laughs> okay, this is amazing. That is yet another spirit underbrush dragon. I wish I had the crystal pieces for a crystal. I don't. I don't. This is like the sixth one of those little guys we've managed to get. I, and watch, I'm never going to get an enchanted spirit dragon. Like, of the, the, like, ones that you can't use the potions for. 
Oh, such a pity. Such a pity. All right, let's go ahead and do this again. I think we're almost to the point where I can make a crystal. And I may be wearing out pretty soon. Uh, let's see. Don't want to hatch that egg yet. Want to save it. Yeah, I don't think I'll be able to get a crystal this time. I do want to make sure we use the last of the revived hatch potion that I have going on right now. But I think that it's not just, it's just not going to happen this time, guys. And we already got a really cool dragon on the way. Not going to complain. Of course, I have to get a fly trap. It wouldn't be attempting to breed these spirit dragons if I didn't end up with a fly trap, of course. Uh, but yeah, it doesn't look like we're going to have the one I'm going for just yet. But that's okay. Now we have the Calavera ready to go. We'll be able to hatch it next time. And we're getting closer. We're not quite there, but we're getting closer to being able to get another crystal so that I can try to breed for maybe an enchanted Calavera, or I can try to breed for an enchanted Spirit Rami, one of these guys in the future. And let's come down here and we're going to try breeding for the Scorpia in this cave, just to make sure that we have that going on somewhere in the background. And phew, all right. Well, we've had quite a bit of luck and we are just one of the spirit dragons away from completing all of the spirit dragons and tucking in and getting to work on trying to snag some of those enchanted variants. So excellent job, my wonderful dragon keepers. I hope that you're ready to see more of these Zonkos dragons and those Calavera dragons and you can shake one of their long legs at. Be sure to toss them a wonderful treat by leaving a like. Join our dragon university by signing up and subscribing and let me know how your adventures with your spirit dragons are going. I'm becoming a little bit of a dragon completionist, I have to admit. I didn't think that would be me. It's becoming me. I want all of them. We need more crystals. I'm not sure how that's going to happen. <laughs> but all right, we will continue with our adventures next time. So I'll see you guys then. Bye-bye.